Hey guys, it's Bina. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we uh, bought a bunch of fresh waters. We headed to Saffron City. Uh, we completely ignored everything in it, and then we walked straight out to Lavender Town, went up the uh, Pokemon Tower, and saved Mr. Fuji from the three people with the gold badge. Uh, we also uh, killed Marowak, the ghost. We killed the ghost, so I guess it's okay. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we're gonna head into Saffron City because we haven't actually done anything in Saffron City. I just completely ignored everything in it, but Saffron City is a very large place. That being said, don't be confused. It's actually, Celadon is actually a more populated place. I'm actually just gonna buy Great Balls because, trust me, I have Great Balls. Uh, you can also buy revives and hyper potions, which recover 200 health. They're expensive, um, but to be honest, there's no alternative, and 200 health is pretty good, uh, especially by the end of the game. I don't know, I don't know if there's max potions in this game, I know there's full, full restores, but anyway. Uh, we're gonna head to the gym, the left one. The left one isn't actually an official gym. It still has trainers, it still has a gym leader, technically, but this one doesn't actually give you a badge, and you can completely ignore this gym. Uh, now, it's a fighting gym, by the way, so don't bring out any of your normal types, trust me. Also, they're pretty high level, jeez! Why did I go in here? Why did I go in here? They're pretty high level! I just realized the guy at the end is like level. Holy snap. Grabo, you are a boss? May I just remind you that? Seriously, he's seven levels too weak and he's annihilating this Machop. I know it's a Machop, so it's not really worth it, but. A manky! Manky! So yeah, um. Oh gosh, manky. Ah, uh, no, it's Fury Swipes. Vice that grip. Um, so yeah, I'm actually not gonna head into it. Maybe do it a bit later. It's definitely good practice, it's good for experience. But, may I just say, why is it only hitting twice? Huh. Now, here's the question Will I be able to survive his last Pokemon, and will Grabo ever level up? Seriously. Primeape! We haven't seen Primeape before. Primeape is the evolution of Mankey at level... 28? Jeez. Uh, Primeape has an extremely high attack stat. I'm not even going... Actually, I'll, I'll send out... Yeah, I'll send out Bubba, because there's no point in using Birdo now. I'm gonna ditch Birdo, so... Focus energy! He's getting pumped. He's getting pumped or gets pummeled. This is the problem with, like, this kind of system, is that sometimes there's trainers that are just way too strong. And the guy at the end of this has two level 37 Pokemon. 37. Baba and Birdo are level 37, and while they probably will be able to beat them, I actually... Thank you, Seismic Toss. There you go. That's what I wanted. I just wanted a non-Vice Grip move. Vice Grip's an alright move. I just, I just wanted something else. And plus, uh, plus, I may as well remind you, um, uh, Pinsa doesn't learn any bug-type attacks. But you can't head inside that building yet. There's nothing really around the city. Uh, I think there may be one place that we can go to. Nope. It does belong to Team Rocket, apparently. Lol, strolls, it's a stop. Um, so I guess we're not going to do that, that gym yet. Um, however, one thing that I am going to do is I am going to do the Silphco Tower, which is a gauntlet of death. Not of death, but there's a lot of trainers in the Silphco Tower. Like a ridiculous number of trainers. Uh, so let's see, so Grab is still level 27, but I'm going to send Moopy out front because... If I switch out, I can get Moopy to level up quicker. How much experience does Moopy need? 139, so that's not too much. But, you know, yeah, I do need to get Moopy some moves, because, oh my gosh, rap isn't the best thing. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah, so you can head inside the Sylphco Tower. This guy doesn't mind. Eh, he's talking to us. Anyway. This music, oh my gosh. Um, so anyway, so Sylph Corporation is actually a proper corporation. But the thing is, their building has been taken over by Team Rocket. The reason why? We'll find out eventually. But this actually may take us like a couple of parts, because goodness, this place is large. Hey kid, what are you doing here? Ah, it's a racket. He's got five Pokemon, yeah. So yeah, so there's a bit of a difficulty jump, to be honest. Like, seriously, the guy's at the top of, um... I'm just gonna wrap it. Ah, of course. Of course. It's not a goal there, unless it confuses me. Goodness. The movie seems to deal a lot of damage to himself. So anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of trainers and stuff. Oh my gosh. That has all been hitting himself in two turns. Uh, Speed V. Because Speed V's a little bit weak. So Speed V needs the electric type attack, which I think he gets at the next level, so... Tackle him! My goodness, I, I really need that electric type attack. I really need... Was it Thunderbolt? I think he learns Thunderbolt. So yeah. So, on top of that, the Sylph Corporation Tower has a lot of, um... Hidden items. Like, a lot. And I can't take out any one of these guys! Because he keeps confusing me! Speedy at least doesn't try and kill himself, but his attack is a bit low. I'm actually relying on a special attack in the future. Because the special his special attack is really good, his physical attack isn't that great. And the problem is he only knows tackle right now. So yeah. His special attack his special, sorry, is really good. Which is why he's actually withstanding quite a few attacks. Seismic toss, I'm using that on a flying type, I'm an idiot. I think seismic toss actually does damage equal to your opponent's level. So, it could do more damage, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Although I know it's based on weight in future generations. Maybe it is based on weight, but I don't know. There you go, there's a little level up on Moopy. The speed V evolve. There you go! Speed V Speed V. Sorry, leveled up. Quick attack. Oh. That is disappointing, to say the least. I just took out one person. Seriously. But Grabo is going to completely annihilate these guys. Seriously, and Grabo's the weakest p person on my team, and he could completely take out these guys. Seriously. Okay, so Zubat, Zubat, Vice Grip. Ah, Confuse Ray. Oh, yeah. By the way, I said last part that I was kind of interested in how many Pokemon that you can catch in the entire game. And I said 125. I'm actually going to back this up now. So basically, there's 151 Pokemon in the game. We're not going to count Mew, because you can't get Mew, pretty much. You can glitch it in. There's actually very easy ways to glitch Mew as a wild Pokemon. Eradicate. Ooh, I think I can do that. Mainly because I got Seismic Toss. Oh, oh, come on, Fritz. Uh, well, I can't send out anyone else, so Bubba. So this is the problem about this weird leveling. Now, I could catch a lot of Pokemon, by the way, and just get the experience all, which would make my life a lot easier, because technically, you only need 50 Pokemon in your Pokédex, which... I'm actually going to send out uh, Moopy, and I'm going to switch out to Bubba, because I'm going to need that experience, man. I don't know if Speed V needs it more, but Moopy needs some kind of level. Uh, but anyway, on a single game, I think I've counted 125 Pokemon that you can catch, which means that, just not counting Mew, there are 25 Pokemon that you cannot get in the game. Now, in each version, there are 11 exclusive Pokemon that will not be found as wild Pokemon. Uh, all the trainers, by the way, are the same, so I think, in both games, so I think you can still see 150 Pokemon. I just don't know if you can 
catch a hundred. I know you can't catch 150. So anyway, yeah. Why are you missing? He hasn't even used like sand attack. You're faster than him. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Bubba. Bubba, you are an idiot. Wow. Um, so yeah, so there's 11 Pokemon, can't get, full stop. Now, let's say there are six starters. Oh, there are nine starter Pokemon technically, but you can only actually get one of them in a single game, so... So... And of course you could evolve it, so you're missing out on six Pokemon right there. Um, now... When we picked up the fossil, that fossil can turn into a po Oh my goodness, Baba! Baba! What? What? It's just a freaking goo Zubat! I can't even say anything now. It's a Zubat! Why can you not defeat a Zubat? You may be going because you're using Razor Leaf on a Poison Flying type. Well, yeah, actually. Why was I even doing that? I don't even know. I goofed! I run goofed! Well, I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna cut back. The Pokemon Center is like down below, by the way, if you're wondering. In fact, we'll talk to the people inside. Yes! Uh, that, that person's kind of referring to the fact that that would be nice, actually. I don't know why they don't do that, but okay. Leave it to a ten-year-old. Um. But, uh... That one person that's saying different species will, uh... Will grow different rates. That's just kind of referring to the fact that, uh... There are four different types of experience rates. Uh, basically it's just a formula to calculate what level you will be at what certain... At how many experience points you have. And, uh, generally, generally some Pokemon will level up faster than others, and thus will get their stats quicker. However, most of the time those are weaker Pokemon. Um, I think, uh, Diamond and Pearl added two more. One that goes way early and one that goes way late. No kids are allowed in here. Okay, sure. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, I think um Oh snap he's a ground type. Ah This is gonna get tricky. Um Yeah This is how you win It's because I'm going first. It is literally because I am going first. This is, this is why Rap is a bit too overpowered, because, seriously, I'm dealing literally no damage, but because I'm faster than this Q-Bar, I can just keep wailing on it. And by the way, every time you use Rap, it's only the first time you actually use it that it uses PP. Um, oh yeah, po Pokemon that you can't get. Okay, so those fossils that we got back in Mount Moon, that can become a Pokemon, uh, and that one can evolve once, so that means that the one that you don't choose that one and its evolution, uh, you cannot get. So that is another two Pokemon, so that leaves our total at 19 right now. Um... Oh, how do they count 25? Well, it might be 22. Uh, now, Eevee, you can only get one of them in the game. And you can only evolve it once. So therefore, two of its evolutions you can't get. Uh, and also, Finally, at the end of a fighting gym, uh, you can actually get a Pokemon. It doesn't evolve, but hey, you know, it's a free Pokemon. However, the other one, you can't get, so now Zubat's faster than me, so I can't do this, really. Although, I'm dealing quite a fair bit more damage, so maybe. Yep, yep, nope, 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 completely abandoned ship, abandoned ship. Oh no, I'm doing okay. Oh no, I, I, I can hit myself every time. Ooh, this is this is not going to end well. Loopy is confused no more! Ooh, I may actually win this. No, I'm probably not, because I got really lucky against the Cubone when I really didn't need it. Because my wraps went off like five turns each. Now, if my wrap goes for one more turn, I win. No, I didn't. 
Yep, I am dead. Oh my gosh, Moopy! Moopy! Moopy, how did you do it? <laughs> Tough. Okay, sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you're missing out on one of those fighting type Pokemon. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think of what other Pokemon can you miss. Oh yeah, 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 that, that's what it was. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, aren't there only 21 then? Uh, or 22. Wait. Alright, so we got the 11. We got 11. 11 exclusives. 2 EVs. 6 starters, that's 19. Um... Mew. No, Mew. I'm not counting Mew. I have completely lost count. The other thing I was thinking were, there are four Pokemon that you have to trade to evolve. So, I'll count those. And I think that's 25? I don't know, I'm counting 24 all of a sudden. I should really switch out instead of just stalling. What was it, a Magnemite? Yep, Speed V. Best, best choice. And now I'm just gonna spam Quick Attack because it's better than Tackle. Ah, oh, gosh, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom does 20, right? Yeah, 20 HP every time. Quick Attack! Sonic Boom! Dude, this is actually going to be pretty annoying. If only I had a certain member on my team that would be able to withstand Sonic Boom. Someone who had really high HP. Yep, I'm not gonna beat him. And Eevee's not gonna learn a move until level 31. Which is a bit annoying. Seriously, Pokemon Yellow makes the entire game a bit easier and a bit harder at the same time because it basically makes all the trainers have higher level Pokemon. How about no razor leaf? Moopy! So that was one Pokemon. Uh, Voltorb. I'll send out Grabo, because Grabo needs experience. Grabo! Vice grip? Uh, uh, I don't know. Critical! Ah! Oh my gosh, Grabo, you're so good! You, you just take forever to level up, but... You, you're still good! You're my favorite! Ah, oh, of course! Of course! Wow, Grabo, you just tanked that Voltorb right there. It's got Magneton, ooh! We haven't seen a Magneton, have we? I don't think we have. We might have, I don't know. This is what I call panic, look through your notes until you find it. Time. Oh, we have seen Magneton. No, of course Sonic Boom! Of course there's a Sonic Boom! Why wouldn't there be? Speed V, you can do this! You do this, Speed V, you can out Sonic Boom as Sonic Boom! Yes! Boom! What now? So two trainers, I've gotta I've gotta heal again. My goodness. Uh, I don't think there's another trainer on the back yet, but Yep. You see that little diamond thing? That's a teleport. This entire place teleports you all over the building. And that gets annoying. And the worst part is that I have to keep track of what floor we're on, and that's gonna get so annoying. Okay, so we're back in the Silph Code Tower. And there are four trainers, by the way, on the second floor. I think there's 11 floors, which is kind of annoying. Uh, there may be a trainer that I can't get to, but... Yeah, you need card keys all over the place. And this music just, like, frustration in a nutshell. Now, the big question is, where the heck are we going to end up when we stand on this? Thankfully, you can go back wherever you go. Oh no, we're causing him problems! But the question is, what floor are we on? And do I still have Moopy up front? Oh, 
Well, I think he just got a Grimer first up. That means we should be on the 8th floor. I think we're on the 8th floor, that, that should make sense. Keep attacking, Moopy! Moopy, you can do this! Oh my goodness. This is... <sighs> you know, Dratini is annoying to train. As soon as you level it up to um, Dragonair, it's a lot more useful. But oh my goodness! Dratini! Just... <laughs> like, it, it, I think he's just winning just because he's using Rap. Like, I honestly think he's does very little damage. I think it's just because he's using Rack that he's succeeding, because he can just keep... he's faster than everyone else. And provided they don't know a priority move, um, then we're okay. Hooray, Moopy! Do you want to do that again? I don't think you want to do that again. Let's do it again. Well, clearly this Electrode's gonna be faster, because Electrode is the fastest Pokemon in the game. Have we seen Electrode yet? I don't think we've seen Electrode yet, because in my notes I kind of put everything in an order of the floors rather than in order of where I'm actually going to go, so... Anyway, Electrode is the evolution of Voltorb at level 30. It has the highest speed stat of any Pokémon in the game, which is why in that one episode of the anime where they're having the race, the guy on the Electrode should have won. Oh no, I missed. Uh, the other thing about Electrode is that its special attack is really good. More so, its physical attack is really good, and also because it's the evolution of because it's the evolution of Voltorb, it is most likely to do that. Hooray! We defeated him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you just blew your Pokemon up. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so yeah, it's a l this place is confusing as heck. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, Moopy's dead, so. Uh, let's see. We'll send out Speedy. I know we're like 20 something minutes into the part, so. Yeah. I'm gonna fight this dude. He's one of the four Rocket Brothers! Super Rocket Brother! Weezing! Ah, there's one I know. Uh, we haven't seen Weezing yet. Weezing is the evolution of coughing. He evolves at level 35, which is a bit late when you think about it. Um. Weezing's got a pretty good defense stat. I mean, Chuck Conroy went with Weezing in his Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. And holy snap, did he get a shiny? Oh, yeah. Dude, if I get a shiny in, if I ever do a Let's Play of Gold, Silver, or Crystal, and I, I would love a shiny on my team. Ah, Sludge. Uh, Weezing is pretty good. I'd actually say it's one of the better poison types in the game. Again, it's still kind of outclassed by psychic types, and the problem is his defense stat isn't going to block psychic type attacks. But I say he's not a bad choice if you want a good psychic uh, poison type. Um, in fact, he's one of the better ones. He hasn't really been used much, though, in future generations. I mean, there's definitely more poison type attacks. Toxic, for example. Actually, Toxic is in this game, so... Uh, I'm gonna ice grip him. He can levitate in later games as well, which is always a nice thing. Uh, that did a lot. That doesn't do much damage, mainly because... Normal! Seriously, that's how high his defense is. Grabo is trying to annihilate him, and it's not working. Uh, Golbat! No! God! Why do they do this to me? Uh, you'll be pleased to know there aren't any items on the 8th floor. At all. Not even any hidden ones. I will be pointing out hidden items as, as, and stuff as we go along, but generally I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna see if we can try and find everything, cause... Yeah. Kill this Golbat, oh my gosh! Why is everything suddenly high level? Oh, of course it's a flinch. Why is... Why, why did Grabber just completely get owned? Quick, kill Steel! 
Go steal him. Yeah, speed B. Level 28. Coughing. Yep, I'm changing. No, I'm not gonna change to him. Changing to a freaking person who doesn't need to. Oh gosh, never mind. See, I just have to keep relying on Baba all the time. I don't know, I. I don't like doing that, but the thing is that it's just like he's the only other guy left on my team. Oh my goodness, it's a critical. So yeah, on top of that, uh, we kind of have to worry because we got to get our Pokemon up to scratch throughout this place. Because there's a kind of tough boss at some point. Uh, so everyone is dead. Except for Speed V. I think I will end the part off here. This may take a few parts. Trust me, this place is annoying as heck. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Blue. See you kids then.